the brightest breaks in the world whether they are painted for peace, freedom or just safety, these spectacular spots promise the most colorful holidays ever brightly colored houses in Burano, in Italy's Venetian Lagoon, have a spectacular insta-worthy effect stay at the very grand Don Cesar Hotel in St. Petersburg, Florida, which is also known as the Pink Palace Ahead to the shores of Lake Gaudilan in Guatemala to find the freshly painted town of Santa Catarina Palapa B. Martha Roberts for the Mail on Sunday published, 1539 Greenwich Mean Time, the 27th of October 2019, updated, 1059 Greenwich Mean Time, the 28th of October 2019 Advertisement These vibrant destinations are guaranteed to brighten up your day and bring a smile to your face. And one thing is for sure, they need no Instagram filter. From the vividly painted townhouses of Copenhagen to the rainbow-drenched streets of Venice, scroll down for our pick of the world's brightest breaks, Burano Island, Venice, Italy Vibrant Palette, brightly colored houses in Burano, in Italy's Venetian Lagoon. Government regulations ensure the colors are maintained to guarantee the spectacular insta-worthy effect color story, helping sailors find their way home. Imagine the scene. You're a sailor heading back to port when the mist descends and you're lost. Then, through the thick gray fog some flashes of vivid color appear, they're the brightly painted buildings of your home village, guiding you back to safety. This is the popular tale of how the houses of Burano, in Italy's Venetian Lagoon, got their breathtaking colors. Today, government regulations ensure the colors are maintained to guarantee the spectacular insta-worthy effect, snap them as you explore the streets at the northern end of the lagoon, where there's also great seafood, locally made butter biscuits and lace, and the Church of San Martino, featuring a leaning bell tower almost as alarming as Pisa's, to admire. Travel details fly to Venice from most UK airports with BA, EasyJet, Ryanair or Jet2 then take a 45-minute journey on the number 12 Vaporetto via Murano. Stay at Casa Burano. It's a hotel diffuso, which means rooms are spread across several buildings, in this case 13 rooms and 5 colorful houses. B. Most of the houses were built in the 1760s as pure Ouija's, or rental houses leased for slaves and were painted plain white. The story goes that, when freedom came, the former slaves decorated them in bright colors to symbolize the joy of liberty. Muslim residents added even more color, painting their houses to celebrate the annual festival of Eid one year and keeping them that way ever since. Today the area is gentrifying fast and several walking tours take you round the cobbled streets of what is the most colorful part of the Rainbow Nation. Travel details, Premier Holidays has a six-night Cape, Wine and Whale self-drive tour to South Africa from £549 pp with car hire, including a two-night stay at Protea Hotel in Cape Town, which is a 20-minute walk or 10-minute drive from Bocop, Marriott.co.uk, Chef Shawin. Morocco The little town of Chef Shawin, above, is known for its color-washed buildings that mirror a cloudless Moroccan sky color story, blue buildings for heaven, and peace tucked away at the foot of the Rif Mountains is a stunning vision of blue. The little town of Chef Shawin is known for its color-washed buildings that mirror a cloudless Moroccan sky, it is said the color was introduced in 1930 by Jewish refugees as a symbol of sky and heaven while others say it goes. Back to the 15th century, when Jews lived alongside local Moroccans and Moriscos, Muslims who converted to Christianity, and painted the buildings as a nod to celestial powers and to represent peace and safety in their pluralistic hometown. Visit the Cosba Fortress Museum or hike to a hilltop Spanish mosque to get a very blue, bird's eye view. Travel details, the nearest airport is 10 year, a 2 hour drive away. Air Arabia Maroc has direct flights from London from about £150 though Ryanair and others have cheaper deals involving stops in Spain. Stay at the Casa Perleta Hotel, a colorful, traditionally built house in the old walled city. Rooms from £38 a night. 
Casaperleta.com, Defanhud de Ha Encarnacao, Portugal Praia da Costa Nova in the town of Defanhud de Ha Encarnacao has rows of houses known as Palheiros, characterized by wood or concrete facades and decorated in bright stripes alternating with white color story, storage houses for fishermen down the coast from Porto, itself a colorful place, is the diminutive Praia da Costa Nova in the town of Defanhud de Ha Encarnacao. Along the white sandy beach are rows of houses known as palheiros, characterized by wood or concrete facades and decorated in bright stripes alternating with white. Back in the 19th century, these buildings were haystacks, basic elevated structures with no internal walls, used by fishermen to store their materials. These days they've been reimagined and partly rebuilt as homes and holiday cottages with internal decoration that often matches their exterior, splashes of red, blue and yellow against cool white. While you're there, think about a picnic on the edge of the Aveiro Lagoon, where flowers, fishermen and bird lovers abound. Travel details, stay in a typical Costa Nova, a stack, through Airbnb from about £45 a night for a two-bedroom flat. BA, TAP Air Portugal, EasyJet and Ryanair all fly to Porto, from £45 PP return. St. Petersburg, Florida, USA Pretty in Pink, the very grand Don Cesar Hotel in St. Petersburg is also known as the Pink Palace, pictured above is a vibrant mural in Florida color story, mural art locals call it St. Pete's and there's color around almost every corner in this Gold Coast city. More than 70 urban murals of all sizes, shapes and styles have appeared in the past decade, from small abstract designs on roadside power boxes to large-scale designs on buildings. The most colorful examples include whimsical figures by Jennifer Kosharek in collaboration with renowned mural artist Thirst, and a 60-feet abstract multicolored mural by Eric Jones. Join a guided tour by Florida Craft Art to have the stories explained, 10 pounds FloridaCraftArt.org. Award-winning beaches and the world-renowned Salvador Dali Museum are other attractions of the increasingly vibrant St. Pete's. Travel details, St. Petersburg is a half-hour drive from Tampa. Fly there with BA or Norwegian from about £275 PP return. For a bit more color, stay at St. Pete's, Pink Palace, the very grand Don Cesar Hotel, from £203 per room a night, doncesar.com, St. John, New Brunswick, Canada Color Story, Regeneration Project One of the oldest cities in Canada, St. John has become known for its charming, brightly colored houses. In downtown St. John City you'll find what locals call Jelly Bean Row, it's where properties built as temporary accommodation after the Great Fire of 1892 have endured. They are now painted everything from banana yellow and jade green through to pumpkin orange. St. John is one of the oldest cities in Canada and the idea of painting the houses began in the 1970s in a bid to inject new life into the declining downtown area. It worked, so as you snap the colors you won't be short of equally vibrant, independently owned places to eat or drink. Travel details, the nearest airport is in Moncton, you can get there via Halifax on WestJet from £442 return. Stay in a yellow, clapboard hotel, the charming Maple Grove Inn from £110 a room per night, or the similarly priced Chateau Lawn Inn nearby, ChateauLawnInn.com, Nyhaven, Copenhagen, Denmark Good He used the vividly painted 17th and early 18th century townhouses of Nyhaven, Copenhagen, Denmark Color Story, inspiration for fairy tales years ago, Nyhaven was a busy port, with ships visiting from all over the world and filling the area with sailors, pubs and vice. Now, the stunning 17th and early 18th century townhouses, painted in colors as diverse as pea green, sunflower yellow and burgundy, have been renovated and the area is filled with music, food and a wonderful atmosphere. These colorful properties have long been favorites with creatives, most famously Danish fairy tale writer Hans Christian Andersen who wrote The Tinderbox, Little Claus and Big Claus and the Princess and the Pea while living at number 20. Nyhaven has also appeared in several films including Ingmar Bergman's A Lesson in Love and The Danish Girl with Eddie Redmayne. Travel details, stay at the waterfront 71 Nyhaven Hotel from £280 a room a night. 71 NyhaunHotel.com BA, Norwegian, EasyJet and Ryanair all fly to Copenhagen from London airports from £40 PP return. 
Santa Catarina Palopo, Guatemala No Filter, Buildings Decorated in the Paint Project at Santa Catarina Palopo, Guatemala Color Story, The Vibrancy of Volcanoes. Head to the shores of Lake Gaudilan in Guatemala to find the freshly painted town of Santa Catarina Palopo. Its 5,000 Mayan residents used to make their living from farming and fishing but have turned to tourism since their arable land started being gobbled up by urban sprawl, and what do tourists like? The Santa Catarina Palopo Paint Project, which began in 2016 and encourages residents to paint their houses with the traditional motifs you see on Guatemalan woven blouses. That means lots of pictures of birds and vibrant volcanoes.